what and why of final accounts. <clears throat> so what are final accounts? Final accounts are the last leg of the process of accounting. Accounting, if you remember, was defined as the art of recording, classifying and summarizing transactions of a financial nature in a systematic manner and interpreting the results thereof and communicating the information to the users. Let us start with the beginning. It's a recording which we said was the journal, classifying which we said is the ledger, summarizing in the form of a trial balance so that we had a total of all ledger balances of all ledger account balances. Having done this from the trial balance, now we are going to prepare the final accounts. Final accounts or financial statements as they are called. So this is the last leg, the last bit of the process of accounting. What will we prepare? We will prepare the trading account. We will prepare a profit and loss account. And we will prepare a profit and loss appropriation account. This together could be called the income statement. Income statement. This is prepared in order to know what is the performance of the company. What is the performance of the organization? What is the, are their profits? Are their losses? <clears throat> to know the, to ascertain the results of the trading operations for the year ascertain the results of the business activities for that particular year. How is this done? Through the income statement, which consists of the trading account, profit and loss account, and the profit and loss appropriation account. Another statement which is prepared is the balance sheet, which is to know the net worth of the business. The balance sheet is prepared to know what is the assets, what are the liabilities on a particular date as at the end of the year. <clears throat> so results for the year and at the end of that year on that particular day, what are the assets, what do we own and what do we owe, what are the liabilities. The difference between what we own and what we owe, what is payable to others will give us the capital or the net worth of the particular so the, the aim, the final aim of the final accounts, financial statements is to ascertain the results for the year through the income statement and to know the net worth or the financial position of the business on a particular date. That is as at the year end. <clears throat> the components of the final accounts are trading account, profit and loss, profit and loss appropriation and balance sheet. What is a trading account prepared for? Trading account gives us what is called the gross profit. What is gross profit? The revenue that is generated, let us say from sales, if it's a trading concern, the revenue would largely come from sales. This is compared with the direct cost of sales, that is the cost of purchases and any other expenses which are incurred along with the purchases in order to bring the goods into the <coughs> warehouse, into the warehouse or the shop of the trading organization. This comparison gives us the gross profit, which is a very critical ratio. <coughs> From the gross profit, we deduct other expenses that there is rent, there is lighting, there are telephone charges, there are salaries of the staff, there may be advertisement, so many other expenses which are not directly related to the cost of the goods, which cannot be identified with the, uh, with the cost of the goods, with any good, particular good, but, is, but, but these are called overheads. So other operating expenses are shown in the profit and loss account from the gross profit from the gross profit we deduct the operating expenses in the profit and loss account 
and arrive at what is called the net profit. This net profit is then appropriated, distributed. Distribution largely happens in case of a partnership where different partners may get different amounts in the form of interest, may get salary, some partners may get commission, etc. And then it is split in the profit sharing ratio. From the profit and loss appropriation, part of the profits may be transferred to what is called reserves. That means it is retained in the business and will not be transferred to the capital account. So there could be reserves, there could be any other distribution if it's to partners, distribution to partners, the form of interest, salary, commission, etc. And the balance amount would be transferred to capital account. So this is all a part of the same income statement. The first part is the trading account giving us gross profit followed by the profit and loss account which gives us the net profit and finally the appropriation account which shows us the distribution of the profits. The balance which is left is carried is transferred to the capital account which is found in the balance sheet which has assets and liabilities Assets minus liabilities would be equal to the net worth of the business or the capital of the owners. Sole proprietor or the partners, whoever are, is running the business. So this is how the these are the components of the final accounts. And we shall now discuss each of them one by one.